let's see if this works out okay so hopefully based on my calculation everything is I calculated as much as I can predicted as much as I can correctly hopefully this works out okay this is no I didn't screw up one more time I did not oh yes I screw up one more time what that was bad oh my god I keep forgetting about Benshina that is so bad how did I screw screw that up so badly and I thought I planned everything oh man holy I thought I planned everything accordingly hi what is up guys Gitarok here welcome back to another brown dust video today we're gonna do some guild wars against phoenix down all right i don't think i've actually fought them before um yeah it's been s i think we have fought them before but not in the previous season maybe in the previous previous season man it's been long like i think the mashup has been always uh, uprising or exodus so yeah it's good to see something that's not one of those two all right so let's go we're gonna do some scouting white darkness this looks very strong. We have a Belliaf, we have a Kaoli, Nartus. Okay, okay, I'm guessing Belliaf buffing Nartus. Rafitia buffing Belliaf, Belliaf buffing, buffing Nartus. And yeah, Asmode plus 10. Definitely not going to be an easy fit right here. Skeletons everywhere. Maybe I could use something like Taylor, but ooh, that runes, man. Almost 50,000. Holy. Very strong Banshina right there. Angelica plus 12. Plus 15 Dalvi. Don't think I can actually beat this, but let's do some scouting. I'll have a look. Edward, this is uh, another option, I guess. Livia, that's Lucius. Livia plus 10. Banshina plus 11. Shield runes. Okay. So I think this is just to counter Angelica specifically. You know? Sacrifice damage for tankiness, so you can't really go in and try to get rid of her. Gran is right there. Again, another very interesting formation. And let's see, what else do I have? Number 7. Okay. Ah, Nartus, Catherine, Stella, alongside with Vals plus 10 and very strong runes looks like. 171% rage rune. Wow. <laughs> that is the highest I've ever seen, I think. Holy. Okay. And 150. Okay, this is very strong. I mean, this Vals is just... From what I'm seeing, she's probably going to one-shot anything. Even a Grand Hill Day plus 15 is going to get obliterated, I think. So we're going to go in. Maybe I think I'll. this is the one that I'm going to try to attempt as my first... Uh, opponent okay let's go okay so this is what i end up having one two three four so there's serendia and stella so there's no rafitia so ideally when there's no rafitia i'm not that afraid of going something like a i can get rid of the catherine immediately so he's gonna go first and from what he's chained so far i'm seeing that one two three four five uh, and then Kaoli go first. Alright, I just need to protect this lane. And then my turn 1, 2, 3, 4. Asmode's gonna pillage the town upon Kaoli, but doesn't matter because once Kaoli dies, uh, Benshina's in front of Asmode, so she will get the town priority. So 7, Vals is gonna come in and hit my Benshina. So, sacrificial, I guess, but no problem. And then I will go in. Oh yeah, I'll go in with Dalvi first. One shot. Cecilia easily and then hopefully go in with Taylor to remove the death guard uh, do I yeah do I do this though I think this is better right isn't this better oh wait if Vals is charm there is Serendia though I was hoping to get Vals to be charm Serendia is there though that's the problem unless I can get rid of Serendia ASAP so the only way for me to get rid of Serendia ASAP is if I don't use Taylor. So I go with something like I really want to have Grand Hill there, but again Livia is gonna 
get rid of my grand easily so that's something that i'm kind of afraid of as well but i'm still gonna win regardless even if olivia takes care of my grand so unless i can go super early something like one two three four and then i'll go grand as five but that doesn't make sense because i won't be able to one shot uh, cecilia that way so yeah i think this is ideally the one that makes the most sense i think and in fact i might just go for something like zakan at the end right because that's going to make much more sense if i go for something like this uh no livia is gonna die if i use taylor so what what am i talking about so i think everything is fine as it is you just get rid of livia and i don't have to worry about anything else nutters catherine i should be fine all right so based on my current formation uh once asmut goes in and dalvi kills cecilia taylor should should be able to take care of livia i don't see why not so let's give this a shot let's go oh my god really now let's extend it for a bit okay let's go so here's the thing we will have the enemy buffing all the way okay Kauli will go first all right so now benshina needs to i mean i need to el eliminate the Kauli. so now i my benshina will have the taunt and then Vals will kill her and then Taylor goes in alright so from this point onwards look at that Grand just one-shotting everyone okay so Nartus Zloop oh Nartus getting one-shotted Livia okay okay so Vals struggles from that point onwards buff prohibition on her and I believe she got nullified as well mmm okay GG I mean, I was thinking a little bit long for, for that battle there. I think I could have just gone in, uh, but I just want to be secured. Alright, so moving on to the next opponent. Okay, so next up, I'm going to attack Meiko. And this is a very tough formation. It looks easy at first, but it's actually, it's honestly not because Livia, Rafitia, Katherine, and Dalvi. Dalvi is going to go first. Now, I do have the advantage of taking care of the bottom lane. Benshina and uh, Katherine is gonna die. Hopefully the process kills Livia as well. Uh, I'm gonna do that with my Taylor. So hopefully with that, most likely my Taylor is gonna die. I doubt she will be able to survive. And then his Grand is gonna go next. And this is where it gets tricky. After his Grand goes next, uh, I will go in with Vals. Trying to hit the Grand. And of course, go in with Dalvi afterwards, trying to hit the Grand. But what my concern is, is the Angelica right here. Uh, not sure if the Angelica will hit my Benshina. Or will the Angelica end up hitting my Dalvi. If my Angelica end up hitting my Dalvi, most likely Dalvi is going to die. But I can't calculate for sure because yeah, there's a lot of things that could happen. What I could do is do something like this. Ban Sheena on 8. I think... No, I think this is better. Okay, so let's go. It's a bit risky, I think. But I think I'm gonna do this. Grand hits bottom. Yeah, from, what I cal from my calculation right now, it seems like it will work. Alright, so... If you guys want to place your bets, whether it's working or not, whether this strategy will work or not, leave it in the comments below. Damn, it's a bit risky, I think. The turn of Angelica. Okay, let's tone it down a bit. So now, Dalby will go first. I'm going to survive that, no problem. It's my turn afterwards. So here's the thing. I will go in with Asmut and my Taylor. Taylor's going to die, for sure. So Gran will hit Benjina. Okay. Vals goes in. Rafi... Tia survive! Okay. I think I forgot about something... Okay, I think uh, we lost. Because Angelica hits Dalvi. Mmm, the taunt is no longer there. Okay. So now his turn. And now my turn. So now... It gets trickier, I guess. Ooh, Asmut. Oh my god. Okay. It's extremely risky. 
but yeah, Angelica is gonna one shot the Benshina. I think we lost this two turns. God damn. Alright, we tried, I guess. Let's see. The only way for me to win this is for. Okay. Okay, this is actually bad. I have to charge one more turn. Can I win this though? I have a feeling I might not win this. Mmm, the miscalculation is just absurd. Damn, really? Do I still have Death Guard? Oh, I still have Death Guard. So I think I'm gonna win this. But, yeah, it's a one star clear. Holy, this is bad. This is so bad. One more. Yeah, this is really bad. I miscalculated one thing. That Dalvi dying uh, probably hurts me more than anything else. I guess I should have used something like a Kiwik. I, I miscalculated by one turn. You know, because I thought Benshina would have the taunt, so Angelica would hit Benshina. But because, I'm not sure if you guys noticed that, it was one turn difference. <laughs> like, holy. <sighs> I need to calculate things better. Man, that sucks, man getting one star like that. Okay, so next up, I'm going to try to do some scouting against opponent Charago. This seems like something that I could try to defeat, and I think it's doable. So, why why do I say so? Let's see, Livia top. Yeah, that Livia is going to be a problem for sure. That Livia will be a problem, but let's jump into the battle, and we will see how how am I planning? What am I planning to do? Go with this. Okay. So here is the thing. Benshina is going to be a problem. Uh, I'm guessing he is going to go Walia, Michaela, Nartus charge up, and then Dalvi first. That's my guess. Or Angelica first. Doesn't matter. Cubic is there to protect if Angelica goes first. And it's my turn. One, you know, two, three. Four. I'm going to go as mode take care of Cecilia and then five because I assume Walia still has the Torn so we're going to go in remove the Torn remove Walia and then his turn after that he will either go Angelica or Benjina doesn't matter and then I'll go six then Arthas and Angelica will both die so that's the plan anyways uh, Angelica might go number nine again I have no idea but if Angelica goes number nine it will be good because by then my Dalvi would have killed her. But if he does, she does not, she will hit Kiwik. And then Livia will hit my Gran later on. So, and then my Livia would most likely hit the enemy Benshina later on as well. Uh, round 2 is going to be... Yeah, when round 2 comes, it doesn't really matter. The problem is the Dalvi at the back though. Because this Dalvi is gonna be kind of a problem. Right, because I don't really have ways to deal with her. Yeah, from what I'm seeing, uh, Zakan is going to be much, much more better uh, after thinking it through. So this is what I'm going to go for. So Dalvi dies to Zakan, Angelica dies to Kiwik, and then I don't have to worry about anyone else except for Livia. So yeah, let's go. This is the strategy, a sound strategy, I hope. Let's see if this works out. Okay, so hopefully, based on my calculation, everything is... I calculated as much as I can, predicted as much as I can correctly. Hopefully this works out. Nartus, Dalvi go first. Angelica goes first. Okay, so he went for Angelica first. Surprisingly, okay. So I'm gonna go with uh, Asmut and Vals. Okay, remove the... Okay, okay. Did I just screw up one more time? Holy, I just screw up one more time. Benshin. Okay, this is... No, I didn't screw up one more time. I did not... Oh yes, I screw up one more time. I screw up one more time. Nartus is coming. Holy, we lost. GG. What? That was bad. Oh my god, I keep forgetting about Benshina. I keep forgetting about her. Like, if I use bombs, right, she's always going to be- Oh man, that is so bad. Ah, oh, 
RIP! <laughs> Zero points, oh my god That is so bad How did I screw, screw that up so badly? And I thought I planned everything Oh man Holy I thought I planned everything accordingly And that was really really bad Benchina just Damn! Oh, zero points! That hurts, man. I hope <laughs> I hope I'm going to be more prepared for benching our teams in the future. Alright guys, so hopefully you guys learn from my mistakes as well. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye!